If you've been opening up the secret bunkers in Delta Force Hall Cops, but you've gotten yourself stuck with this particular door in Leali Grave, then look no further as I'm going to walk you through this one step by step. Let's check it out. Welcome on in YouTube, and if you're new to the channel, hey, I'm Steve and I play Delta Force Extraction. This game really does have everything. Missions, PvP, cool guns, great fights, and easter eggs with locked doors that are able to be unlocked with a different code each raid. Some of them are easy and quick, and others, like this one, take a bit of time. With all the steps required to get this one, the loot inside better be good, right? We'll find out together. Now, this took me a couple of attempts solo, and before you even load in, I'm going to tell you one thing take meds with you. There's a particular step which, if you're caught short, is going to be nasty and make you want to rage quit as you hobble to the nearest exfil. Ready to jump in? Let's get to it. Now, if you've used the paid exfil in Leali Grove, then no doubt you'll have already found these stairs and this door. It's located near the checkpoint in the south of the map. What's different about this door, however, is the clue to unlock it. There are four parts to the passcode, and at the top of the window, you'll find, well, gibberish. It's something to decipher that will give you the locations of the passcodes. Head somewhere where you can either get cover if solo or be protected by your team and pull up a keyboard change cipher decoding website. After entering the letters in order and hitting decode, you'll unravel where you need to head to next. The decoded text tells you you need to be heading to Cave, Gurab Desolation, Minefield and Wharf Tower, which you can find here, here, here and here. Now, as I'm solo, the safest route is going to be starting with the cave and working backwards, hugging the eastern side of the map. There's one POI you're going to want to be really careful with, and that's Aminya Village. There are a lot of missions based out of this location, and there's also another hidden bunker which I know people are trying to do. If you haven't worked that one out yet, I recently put out a video with a step-by-step -step guide which you can find here. The map itself is located in the northeast of the map, close to the storage POI. It has two entrances and is pretty well hidden by a waterfall. I'm not going to lie, heading into the cave, I'm so blown away by the level of detail the dev team have actually put into this game as an alpha. Regardless of which entrance you take, you'll want to head towards the back of the caves where you can find some crates stacked up on each other. As always, we're looking for a dagger to point to the direction of the coach location. Looking closer, you'll see that there's a space that you can actually get behind the crates, and that's where you'll find the code. Now, it may not look like much, but this is actually the code. Unlike the other key codes where you'll see a number clear as day, these ones require a little interpretation. I took a screen grab each time, so if my guess was wrong, I could relook at them without having to run all the way back if I was wrong. Time to go and find the next one. Next, we're in Garab Desolation which is in the eastern side of the map, located below the small train station. This part of the code was actually pretty straightforward. Again, looking for a dagger, see where it's pointing to, and knowing that we're looking for some weird dots or graffiti looking code, keeping an eye out for whatever stands out. So the dagger's pointing in this direction, and eventually you'll come across a wall, which has been blown to pieces, but something's not quite right. And here we have it, the code on the wall, as expected. Now, on this run, the code actually looked the same, so it's safe to say that they will actually double up. Right, this one was easy. Let's move on. Now, we're heading to one of the two minefields you'll find on Leali Grove, located here. Now, at the beginning of the video, I told you that there's one part to this process which is a bit tricky if you're solo if you don't have enough meds. And that would be this bit. Strewn around the area here, you will find lots of mines, which won't full kill you, but will break a lot of bones in your body. Now, these mines won't actually blow up if you shoot them, only if you step on them. Now, it was through sheer luck that I actually found this dagger in the first place. Although it's difficult to see with the weather in this particular raid, it's pointing down on a sign that is on its side. 
There isn't anything in front of the sign, only behind it. Yes, you've guessed it, it's a mine. And yes, you know what you're going to need to do. Ah! Blowing up the mine reveals the third piece of the code directly underneath it. And once you've healed up, it's time to get out of this space. If you're not at full health, whatever you do, don't then step into the minefield. Just go back the way you came and leave the area. The fourth and final part of the code is located in the tower by Wolf, shown on the map here. Heading up the staircase, you'll find that there's a particular part which you can't get through because for some reason they built it too slim. Easily solved, just jump on over it. Looking at the ceiling, you'll notice that there is a dagger in the corner pointing to the opposite corner. This one can be a little bit tricky because you need to get the right angle to make sure that you're getting the whole piece of the code in view. But once you're confident that you've got it, time to leave. Now, if you followed it from the cave down, you're actually not too far away from the original door. And it's a relatively safe route to get back. Heading back down the stairs, it's time to enter the passcode. Now, one thing you may have noticed is that none of the daggers had the dots underneath it to tell you what order the code goes in. However, the deciphered text actually gives you the order to go into. Cave, Gurab Desolation, Minefield, Wharf Tower. So we're gonna enter the codes in that order. And that's it, you're in. Once again, there'll be a crate which you can pick up, stick in your backpack, and then exfil. Once you're safe, get to an exfil and get on out. But don't worry, we'll just skip to the animation. Once you're safely back at the black site, you can open up the crate to reveal what's inside, and this time it is a gold rare FS composite vest. Its base value is close to 200k, but I've seen it going on the auction for closer to 400k. Now, if you're like me, with real gear fear, you ain't ever gonna put this on. But it's nice to know that you've got it, right? So as always guys, if you found this video useful, please do hit the like, drop a comment to let me know that you got it, and of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Not only have I produced videos for several other hidden bunkers throughout the game, but I'm gonna continue to do so until all of them are done and will continue to do so as soon as the game is on full release. So until next time guys, happy hunting.